basically, once again, the Padres get off to a, a very quick start. This is Flaherty uh, against you, Darvish, and Tatis, who just dominates Jack Flaherty. He goes yard immediately. And then in the bottom of the second, I believe, uh, we get, or no, bottom of the first, I should say, Jerkson Profar robs Mookie Betts of a home run. Great bit. This is a great bit. And we've seen versions of this before where someone robs a homer and they don't show the crowd. However, normally, like we've seen Julio do this. There's no crowd involved, right? You see them I like jump over the wall. Yeah. The one that sticks in my mind is Carlos Gomez doing this to Joey Votto in center field in Milwaukee. And I think it might have been to end a game. And he yes. robs it and kind of just nonchalantly runs in. You don't know if it's gone or not. But you're right. The added element of the crowd and yes. Profar not immediately jumping up and down, like showing the ball and making it obvious that he caught it, created a ton of confusion. Like the broadcast flashes, the home run graphic. If you listen to the Padres radio broadcast, Jesse Agler is like, home run, Mookie Betts. Wait, what? Right? Like he milked the heck out of this thing. Yeah, because you have this really short wall down the left field line in Dodger Stadium that he, I mean, he went into the crowd and and took this ball back. And that was the top of the first was Otani strikeout, Profar robbing Mookie, and then Freddie strikeout. And you're like, well, that is about as good of a good of an inning as you can have in, from a just like good vibes perspective here. And then the Padres add on quickly, David Peralta. We've, we've kind of mentioned his name along this incredible Padres season. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. The freight train, David Peralta, puts them up 3-0. He has a rocket to center field. And now we're like, okay, is this going to get ugly in a hurry? Uh, the Dodgers get a run in the bottom of the second from Gavin Lux, but it's 3-1. to one. And then we kind of fast forward a little bit as both starters have have really started to settle in. I mean, Darvish looks great. He's not getting too many strikeouts, but he's using seven different pitches. He clearly just has guys completely off balance. We go to the sixth inning. And in the sixth inning, at the very end of Jack Flaherty's outing, he strikes out Manny Machado and tells Manny Machado to... Uh, hmm, how shall we sit? Say <laughs> sit down. Take over a seat, there. good sir. <laughs> my excuse my me, dear friend. competitor. <laughs> you look like you have been standing for quite a while. Might you want to Please. rest your buttocks? Please. I insist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of. So then, and then afterwards, you see Machado responding. He's saying, "Oh no, you. No one can offer me a seat. I, I will. Am... I. I, sh I cannot accept." <laughs> I am spry and lively in my I lower cannot, half. I cannot accept the seat being offered from anybody. I w I refuse because I am strong and I can stand. I will stand what, as I please. What a kind gesture, Jack. Thank you. Um, anyway, so then. Always if, good to see, you know, back and forth communication for players. Right, right. Well, it's not over. It's not over. But So that that's just the first strikeout, okay? Okay. Um, then Anthony Bonda comes in uh, to face lefty Merrill and Jackson Merrill, who is amazing. Yeah, it delivers an RBI single. Now it's 4-1 Padres. All right. Now we uh, go to... Oh, I guess it's just the next inning. Right. So I was going to say this isn't going to show up in the game summary. But basically, at the start of the next inning, <laughs> Jack Flaherty and Manny Machado, after this wonderful exchange earlier on, they continue. They continue. How is your and family? Jack, is your, Jack, Jack your Flaherty says... Well. He's, Jack Flaherty says, Hey, uh... Manny, I, I apologize for the mix-up, but might you would you like to meet up afterwards yes. to to uh, join me in a, in a post game a post game meal? Shall we? And Machado uh, gestures back. He says, "Yes, I will meet you." A post game tete a tete in we the parking do it lot, perhaps outside. We will meet outside, not here. I, I will meet you on the plains of Weehawken for a duel. Uh, it's like the parking lot there's a big parking lot out there <laughs> where exactly you would you like to yeah can you tell really me which specific like anyway it, the, saying meet me in the parking lot of Dodger Stadium is like saying I'll meet me in Ohio 